News 5 This Morning. Good morning. It is 5.30 Wednesday morning. I'm Jessica Taloni. I'm Bill Riles. Thanks for watching, everyone. First on 5 This Morning. We are weather aware this morning as more storms are possible here along the Gulf Coast. In light of today's threat, the National Weather Service will wait until tomorrow to begin surveying damage from Tuesday's storms. In Alabama, homes were damaged in Clark County and trees were knocked down by strong winds there. Highway 69 in Coffeyville was blocked by more than a dozen trees. Monroe County also saw a lot of tree damage. In Escambia County, flooding was seen in and around downtown Atmore. Even further north, dozens of trees were reported down across Elmore County, Alabama. Local emergency management agencies will be assessing storm damage for the next few days. The storm left more than 700 customers there without power. And Tuesday, storms killed two people as it moved from Texas to South Carolina. Bryan County, Georgia was hit hard. One woman, one woman, one woman was killed. And at least 12 others were injured after a suspected tornado devastated one neighborhood. Another person died in White House, Texas. More than 50,000 homes and businesses in all were without power Tuesday night from eastern Texas to South Carolina. And again, we are weather aware as we prepare for the potential for more storms throughout today. Let's check in first. Meteorologist John Nodar with all the details you need. All right. The possibility is out there that some of the storms that developed today could be severe. We'll get more into detail in that in a minute. I want to let you know, though, right off the bat, it's not going to be a repeat of yesterday. We're not going to have that massive squall line, but we could have a few isolated strong to severe thunderstorms. The severe weather threat is level two out of five. It's a slight risk. And that means that it is a risk. So some of the storms that develop, not all of them, could have damaging winds or hail. Those would be the main threats out of the storms today as opposed to tornadoes. Radar is quiet this morning. You see a few little showers way out there in the Gulf of Mexico. Not impossible that some of those could find their way on shore in the morning, but what we're looking for is in the afternoon and evening. A cold front is approaching, and as it moves through our neighborhood, it's going to bring some showers and thunderstorms with it, and those have the potential of being strong or severe. So that's one to nine today. One in our Mississippi communities, 9 p.m. It starts exiting the Florida Panhandle. And damaging winds, hail, a brief tornado is not impossible. The threat of tornadoes today is actually quite low. Uh, have two ways to receive your weather alerts. Uh, News 5's free weather app is one, and NOAA Weather Radio is another one that we recommend. Providence Hospital, gray skies, a little light fog out here. And we're seeing light fog in between some of the official reporting sites. These eight, nine mile visibilities are fine, but there are a few foggy spots this morning. We'll get into more detail in that in just a few minutes. And you can keep up with the latest weather updates by downloading the WKRG News 5 weather app. You can get it for free in the Apple App Store or on Google Play. Alabama